Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about display second largest and a smallest number in an array. So suppose if I enter n value, fine. So total elements I enter, fine. Or 12, 45, 6, 32, 77. So I enter a smallest elements in the array is 6. So the output display, 6 is the smallest element. And your second largest element is 45. So largest is to 7, first largest element is 77 and second largest element is 45. So the output display, second largest equal to 45. So let's do it. So this is the code I already written in a code block. So here, yeah, if I'm going to debug, so let's enter, enter the size of array. So I'm going to enter 5. So we have to enter 5 elements into the array. So first is 87, 67, 32, 65, 45. So I have second largest element or displaying 67. And here the smallest number 32. So 32 is the smallest number in this array. And our second largest is 67. So largest element is 87. Here up to next is 67. So this is the code I already pasted in the paint. And hereafter, I'm going to discuss about the trend method of this program. So if you debug the code, control comes to main method. Hereafter, that coincides. So I have taken two integer variables. First is n. Next, temp. Here after print a function, so what do we enter code that is printed to the output screen? Enter the size of array. And here after a scanner function, so what do I am going to enter? So that received by n. So I am going to enter n value 5. Here after I have taken integer, integer type array variable a double r and I have given the size 55. So maximum you can enter 55 elements into the array. Here after control comes to comes to printer function. So this or display into the output screen into the elements. So here after control comes to for loop. So I to int i. So i value one more variable i. So I to i start from zero. And next check the condition zero less than n value five. Condition is to that coincide. So I scan up percent d because a over r i is integer time. And here. So a scanner function, so that receive a over r, i value is 0, so 0 percent new element. So this is a over r, this is a 0 index, here after 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's kind of function. So ampersand because so in part some particular location that store the value of a double or zero. So zero position I'm going to enter at your nine. And here after that go up, increase the value of i. So i is one now. Check the condition one less than n value five condition is true. So that let's enter a double on one person new element. So at here I'm going to enter 12. Next, i increase, so i is 2 now. Check the condition, 2 less than 5, condition is true, that coincides. So let's enter a or or 2 person new element. So at here, I'm going to enter 8. Here after i increase, so i is 3 now. Check the condition, 3 less than 5, condition is true, that coincides. So let's enter a or 3 person new element. So here, I'm going to enter 7. Now here after i increase, so i is now 4. Check the condition, 4 less than 5, condition is 2, so that coincides, so let's enter a of 4 person new element. So I enter, I'm going to enter 13. Now here after i value is 5. Check the condition, 5 less than 5, condition is not true, not coincide, here after control comes to this point. So I enter i value, 
start from 0, three condition 0 less than n value, 5 condition is true, that coincides. So I have 4, j equal to i plus 1. So I have this is j, i plus 1. So i value is 0, 0 plus 1. So j start from 1. Check the condition 1 less than 5, condition is true, that coincides. So I have if a double on i. So i is 0, so 0 position 9. And j by j a double on j, j so j is one now so add here one position twelve so nine greater than twelve the condition is not to not coincide here after that curve increase the value of j so j is two now check the condition two less than five condition is to that coincide so add a a double or i so i value is no or zero so zero position nine and nine greater than a double or J value is true, so 2 position 8. So 9 greater than 8, condition is true. Condition is true, so that coincides. So I have a double or i. So i position is i is 0. So a double or 0 position value go to 10. So 9 go to 10. And here after a double or 2 position value go to a double or 0. So j value is true, i value is 0. So a double or 2 position 8. So 8 move to here and here after time go to a double or two so nine comes to a double or two here after that curve increase the value of j so j is now three so the new array elements are So this is a zero index. Add here one, two, three, four. So at here this point eight come and here twelve. Now this point nine come here seven and next thirteen. So j is three now. Check the condition three less than n value five. Condition is true. So that coincides. So add or r i. So i value is now 0, so a double or 0 position greater than a double or 3. So 0 position 8 and a double or 3 position 7. So 8 greater than 7 condition is true. So that coincides, so I have a double or 0 position value go to 10. So I have 8 go to 10. And here after a double or 3 position value go to a double or 0. So 3 position 7, 7 go to 8 over on 0. So at this point, 7 come. And here after time go to 8 over on 3. So 8 go to 8 over on 3. So at here, 8 come. Now here after to, oh, j gonna increase, so j is 4 now. So at here, new array elements are, so this is array. So this point seven come. And here no any changes. Next at here nine. And here eight go to three. And in last thirteen. So this is zero index one, two, three. Four. So here after j is now 4, check the condition 4 less than 5, condition is true, that coincides, so I have a double or i value is 0, so a double or 0 greater than a double or 4, so 0 position 7 and 4 position 13, 7 greater than 13, condition is not true, so that not coincide, here after that go up, increase the value of j, so j is now 5, check the condition 5 less than 5, condition is not true, not coincide, so here after that out from inner for loop and go up increase the value of i. So i is now 1. Check the condition 1 less than 5 condition is true. So that coincides. So I have j equal to i plus 1. So i value is now 1, 1 plus 1, j start from 2. So check the condition 2 less than 5 condition is true. That coincides. So I have a double or 1 position greater than a double or 2. So 1 position is uh, or 2m and 2 position 9. So 12 greater than 9. 
condition is true. So you have to go inside. So enter it on one position value go to tab. So one position is 12. So 12 go to tab. And here after a double on j value is no 2. So a double on 2 position value go to a double on 1. So 9 comes to this point. And here after 10 go to a double on j. So j is no 2. So 10 value go to a double on 2. So 10 value is 12. So 12 go to a double on. Two. So at this point, twelve come. Now here after that curve, increase the value of j. So j is now three. So at your new array elements are. So this is a seven. And here yeah, nine more. And here next or 12. And here after 8. And next 13. So this is 0 index 1, 2, 3, 4. Now here after j value is now 3, check the condition 3 less than 5, condition is to that coincide. So at 8 over 3 position, i value is now 1. So i is 1 and a double on 1 position greater than j value is 3. So 1 position is 9 and 3 position 8. So 9 greater than 8 condition is true. So that coincides. So right here a double on 1 position value go to 10. So 1 position is 9. So 9 go to 10. Here after a double on 3 position value go to a double on 1. So 3 position is 8. So 8 move to this point. And here after time value go to a double on j value is 3. So time value is 9. So 9 go to a double here. 9 comes this point. So new array elements are. So this is a 7. Here after 8 come a double on 1 position. Next at here 12. Here after 9 and next 13. 0 index 1, 2, 3, 4. Now here after j increase, so j is now 3 to 4. Check the condition 4 less than 5, condition is 2, that coincides. So I have 8 over on i. So i value is now 1. So 8 over 1 position greater than 8 over on 4. So 1 position is 8. And 4 position 13. So 8 greater than 13. Condition is not to not coincide. Here after j increase. So j is now 5. Check condition 5 less than 5. Condition is not to not coincide. Here after i increase. So i is now 2. Check condition 2 less than 5. Condition is to slight coincide. So at int j. So j is now 2 plus 1. So j is start from 3. So at here. Check the condition 3 less than 5. Condition is or two. So here, a double or two position greater than a double or j value is now three. So two position is uh, twelve and three position nine. Twelve greater than nine. So this condition is true. So that coincides. So at a double or i value is two. So a double or two position value go to tam. So twelve comes to tam. Here after a double or three po Position value go to a double or 2. So at here 9 come and here after or time go to a double or j value is 3. So at here time value is 12. So 12 comes to this point. And here after that curve increase the value of j. So j is now 4. So at here, new array elements are. So at here, first point, 7. Next, 8. Here after, 9 come. Or 2 position. Here after, 12 come. 3 position. In last, 13 come. 
So this is your zero index. One, two, three, four. So J value is now four. Check the condition four less than five. Condition is two. So that you know, A double or I value is two. So A double two position greater than A double or J value is four. So two position is nine and four position thirty nine greater than thirteen. Condition is not two. So that not coincide. Here after J increase. So J is now five. Check the condition five less than five. Condition is not two. Not coincide. Here after I increase. So I is now three. Check the condition three less than five. Condition is two. That coincide. So at your end J. So I plus one. So I value is now three. Three plus one. J start from four. And here after four, four less than five. Condition is two. That coincide. So at your end over three greater than end over or J value is four. So three position is or twelve and four position thirteen. Twelve greater than thirteen. So that condition is not true. So that not coincide here after J increase. So J is now five. J condition five less than five. Condition is not true. Not coincide here after that increase the value of I. So I is now four. J condition four less than five. Condition is true. That coincide. So at your J start from J equal to four plus one. So five. J is five. So at your J condition five less than five. Condition is not true. Not coincide here after I increase. So I is now five. Check the condition five less than five. Condition is not true, so that not coincide here after control comes to this point. So at your second a smallest number, second largest element, or percent because it over R is integer type and slash and then cursor bring to the new line. Here after that point it over R n is now five five minus two three. So it over three position is twelve. So at your the output display, second largest element is 12, and here after the smallest element is or or zero. So zero position is seven. So seven display. So the output come second smallest element or seven. So first, so this is the output we get, and here first time in the logic of this program, first time. We are doing the uh, sorting, and here after uh, whatever the index. So for second largest, I just set it will on n minus two. So whatever the n n value. So for second largest, we have to subtract by two, and for a smallest, so a smallest number ascending. I sorted in ascending order. So a smallest element. So uh, must be zero. Uh, so must be stored in zero index. So I just given the index a double or zero. So this time I enter n value five. So you can enter n value seven. So at here I've given the size a double or fifty five. So maximum you can enter fifty five elements into the array. So if you want more, then here you can increase the size. So at here n value is seven. So maximum. Uh, so you have to enter seven elements. So next is uh, this is a uh, total five. Here six, seven, and here the index five and six. So do the same try and method after entering or uh, seven, and definitely you will get the expected output. So this is the try and method of this program. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week.